Howdy folks, ladies and gentlemen, and kids, and uh, basically scientific people come here, people with intelligent minds, okay? So where am I at? You can see if you look at, if you can see the link. Sometimes they fuzz it up so you can't see what the link is, okay? I'm at, you're, you're going to know where I'm at here. Basically, you can kind of see where I'm at, okay? If you can read, okay? But we're going to, and most people are going to think right off the bat. Now, remember, I can't point at all these stars, okay? And I'm going to go prove that these are stars. And let's go ahead and get the magnifier. If anybody wants to get mad at anybody, they need to go ahead and go get mad at Bill Gates. Everybody wants to get mad at Bill Gates. This is because software from a company otherwise I wouldn't have uh, and I don't even care if I'm wrong I'm not even caring about just babbling but anyway we got stars and more than likely if I was to start from like this and just go look I'm looking at stars you guys have seen me before at Navy and so forth and so such that uh, you can see the stars here I, I screwed up so now I and as you can see I can't get back to my magnifier right now and I the only person in the world that has software that can, but I know SCADA, so I know they can control you and basically, uh, there is no such thing as social media. There's no social media overlord, okay? There's no social media, uh, it's just a, it's a uh, propaganda word. And basically what propaganda is, is what a lot of your big, privately owned uh, news corporations in America basically need to start getting back to reality and quit uh, propagating our constitutional rights against you know trying to take them away from us because they are there is a propaganda movement in this country to uh, start up basically we are starting to look like that there is people who own FCC licenses, propaganda machines in this country that may have to start actually fearing more than they already fear for themselves because the actual factual is that the idea that they are using their propaganda machines against our constitutional rights in this country. It's that simple. And it's wealth that's doing that. Okay, You can see the names. You know who the people that work for certain propaganda machines which are media organizations okay there is no such thing as social media these, these are all telephone calls okay these are telephone calls this is a telephone call right now because basically I'm making uh, I'm online so basically this is a telephone call okay there's stars here and as you can see we're at Nehemiah if you've paid attention and read the deal now uh, basically what I got to do is try to find out how to get out of here and basically Okay, folks, basically just got lost because I basically was magnified up so bad. Okay, uh, human error. Okay, but that idea that when my cursor gets locked up, that's supervisory control and data acquisition. And I know it very well. Okay, uh, it's in my career. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to pop out of our stars here that we zoomed in on. And actually, we're going to sneak in real fast and just pop in. And I'm going to show you real fast that basically you really you get a little extra help from somebody when you get locked out it wasn't me that did it okay and whatever you can always blame it on human error correct but whatever so we're in here on these stars and then I'm gonna pop out here real fast so now you know we got the stars you can see there we got a lone star there and then but they're not it's not really alone it's with all these here now up in Nehemiah lately this, this footage is awesome because the actual factual that that's what we're looking at here I'll pop down to like 400 star cluster and you can watch this star cluster and we got to go down real fast to like 125 now I could have started up in there and played psyops with people and go like well and no but we weren't at the Navy but the idea that you can actually look and zoom in with your zoom at these beautiful views at the South Pole now we're gonna see a shadow too I'm gonna hit start on this well actually we're gonna we're gonna just go ahead and let me see if I can get we're playing around on what I'm doing is going through the stars here I start acting. Remember, we're at Neymar, okay? There's the deal on top. But just in order to get this a good size for you to... I never cut and paste from... Now, you can go ahead and zoom in on these, too. Also, you can see that stars back there, okay? And this is also a point of auroral since it's at the South Pole, Antarctica, okay? And remember, the this can be jacked up. I think it's more like hydraulic or, or pneumatic and basically hydraulic because of all the weight. 
the Nehemiah Station can go up and down in the ice. Okay, they're studying. I believe that the crawl fish here is at this one here too. I'm not sure, but there's a crawl fish study down somewhere in the South Pole, whether it's these guys at Nehemiah or whatever and stuff like that. So they do do stuff underneath the ice and everything like that. You see the ramp here over here, this deal here and everything like that. So I'm going to zoom in on some stars again real fast because there's a cluster as you see up here in the background in the sky breaking through the clouds and so forth. And then we'll get up 999. And hopefully I can give you some space shots too. So anyway, you keep you can zoom in on them, and then basically, I got to pop into it real fast, get the zoom going here, and we'll get in and see one of these stars to prove that to you that one of them is a star over there in the horizon. And there's a star. Okay, so these have all been stars, and the beautiful placement that they put it because basically, if anybody remembers my videos from last year, that we caught a star cluster that came down and danced around this here uh, metal object. Okay. But we're at the pole, so the magnetical of the stars is an actual scientifical fine fact of Vino Black because basically we all know about the electrical magnetical. I'm an electrician. I found the, the universe is one of its because there's other stuff that's big out there in the infinite space of space. Okay, So this is all astronomy. It's all astrophysics. And it all comes down to the magnetical of the stars, okay? They're magnetic. This is the South Pole, okay? It also happens at the North Pole. So then we'll keep going through the photographs here because basically we turn them into photographs because what they are is freezing points of what is going on from the webcam down there, which is very good at catching certain light and so forth. Now, I think what we're going to do here in a second is I'm going to end up being able to show the fact. Now, this is star action and everything like that, which basically the sun is a star. Remember that. Okay, so and I've proved that basically we have, and also other scientists and uh, electrical physicists and everything have proved that the idea of the magnet magneticism of the stars, the sun, moon, and so forth, and it's all an ongoing magnetical study, okay? So we've got an object that I think, now this is star action too, okay? These are all a lot of stars that are basically glimmering on the ground here. Also with me that I busted uh, NASA's balls about the idea that up the thin atmosphere in Mars and I ended up finding stars on the ground and then they turn around and try to make it out that there's a plastic, which basically, I still basically will probably be able to argue out and then even after I'm dead and gone, they'll probably prove that more than likely there was no piece of plastic on Mars, okay? It's basically, they're trying to uh, appropriate uh, Beano Black because the idea that he is spreading truth okay I'm not in part of any truth movement I'm just basically into scientifical actual factual data I'm a fact person uh, military background not me in the military father very strict the idea that you can lie to your friends but don't lie to me okay so I'm a very truthful honest person the truth always wins for you uh, stand behind the truth and you can take out uh, the biggest things in the world let's put it that way so this is star action down that we have down on at Nehemiah, and then there's going to be some sun action too. So I'm going to hit play, and I was a little bit miffed here because basically what I was trying to do is get myself, uh, you know, I'll have to freeze it. I'm going to spend a lot more time on this. I'll probably have another one for space later tonight because I was wanting to show. Is we're basically we're going to go through the whole video, I guess, let it play here real fast. I wanted to show when the stars got down to a little bit less. Now here we come with the shadow action that we we're getting, okay? But we got it in backwards, okay? So this will work good. So now I'm gonna hit step, then we'll go back, and I'll step. Now what's interesting is uh, discreditable. You know, everybody can try to discredit anybody. It's always a, a poop throwing, flinging match all the time. So anyway, what we do is there. I finally got that where I wanted that, and we'll go back to the shadow thing in a second. And it's pretty much gonna be all this video on Neymar. So basically we're in on these stars and I'll pop in real fast and this is like I got the time thing going and I've been fighting uh, some, uh, but it's always good that you always, you always have a shadow, okay. So here we go, we'll go to the magnifier and we'll go up and there's your stars, okay, once again. And what, I've been, what I'm fighting is basically SCADA. Supervisor control and data acquisition. Uh, powerful people are wanting to hush me and also wanting to uh, 
scientifically that they control science. Well, they don't control science. Science and observers and scientific and curious people take care of science, okay? Discover stuff and so forth. So this is all star action here, ladies and gentlemen. Exact same as the three stars that we just found up there that's hitting the ground down here. So we got a long video of a bunch of mumble jumble, but it's all actual factual, okay? So they're going to keep trying to discredit and everything like that, and they're pressuring some other people to make comments about people without, they have to be smart legally because I'll sue the living shit out of anybody that tries to say even my pseudonym and try to say anything false about me. So the idea that, and if anybody was ever to find out my name and try to do it, I'll sue you just as much as I sue you for my pseudonym. So this is Beano Black, and basically let's try to hurry up and get the shadow in here. Now let me try to hurry up and get the moon thing in here that basically this is not the moon. Okay, now, no matter what, you can see this shadow here. No matter what, if you got to look at it at a laptop or whatever, if you got to look at it, no matter what, we will step. And see, somebody else had a lab thing that they were going around with, with the, whether it was a, one of the bigger ones or whether it was a snowmobile and getting pulled along. Now, this snowball is putting off that there. And as you see that the angle, as I go and I'll skip that way. Did you see that angle that it gets? Okay. But when we go like this and we get our big shadow that comes by, which is not the moon, you can do anything to study. The moon's too high to put a shadow like this down there. And we know that it's not, not a satellite dome. And you can even tell by the size of the, the snowman, this little snow cluster that's sitting there, that it ends up proving through that the idea that there's something of some sort of a size in the sky that's not a radar dome okay because the radar dome that we know of the only thing they really got is a radar dome is up there there's no scientific need for a telescope dome or anything like that down there it's something that keeps appearing in the sky okay and the movement of it constantly shows that. Now I think I'm going back here enough so I can hit play and start and then the next video today more than likely this evening or something will be on some space action stuff. Okay. Because no matter what uh, you can watch the, the movement of that shadow and it sure does not seem to be from where the camera is mounted or anything like that or anything to be with a uh, some kind of a, a large telescope dome or large radar dome. This is a radar dome up there on that. And there, here comes our shadow action that we're talking about well, in backwards because it's basically playing backwards right now. So, and I think that it'll go forward now. So there's some good footage to keep watching and see what you think scientifically that that is and so forth because basically I got it going the wrong direction right now. So it just constantly weighs the idea that there's something that shadows down there that is uh, nature, not man-made. Okay, so there's something in the sky. and. Let me go show you real fast that the, at 1600 hour, at least remember that you study, study and look 1600 hour on any software you got. I'll go look at this one. Okay, okay basically this is the South Pole there. Antarctica is going to be, you know, in the South Pole area. Okay, cover because it covers the South Pole. So basically, I've got in basically. The, I think I do have the the location as far as I know. I think I do have as the Antarctic area where the. But I move around here and you'll see where. The clock's been running, but 1400 is basically 2 a.m. Uh, so basically, that's the 1600 UTC hour of the of the video that when you freeze it, and you'll get that shadow. And it's not the moon because the moon's way up here, and it's also not Jupiter. And we know we've already showed you scientific and NASA is the truther on it. The idea that any object in space puts out the same size shadow as itself. Okay. So the idea that there's a small remnant that's out there below Earth at the South Pole. It's a simple fact. There's a small remnant out there. Uh, 
it's not the moon or Jupiter that's making that shadow at the South Pole. 